The live look now from the uh, Stoller family estate camera in Dayton. It's a cloudy morning across our western valleys, but conditions are drying out and the next couple of days are going to be pretty nice, especially Wednesday. Let's take you to the radar. There are still some isolated showers around. Uh, it looks like a cluster is still working its way up into the northern Oregon Cascades, just south of Highway 26, and a few light showers are also moving on shore along the northern Oregon and southern Washington coast. In fact, I want to take you out there to our Shiloh Winds camera in Seaside. Uh, one thing you'll notice, it's still pretty breezy with that American flag whipping around. Uh, sustained wind is coming in around 10 miles per hour. Surfaces are wet. I've seen showers come through from time to time, but I think over the next hour or two, uh, we'll completely dry out and we'll see gradually clearing skies along the coast. I think by lunchtime, in fact, we're going to see mostly sunny skies and the remainder of the afternoon will be pretty nice with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. So it'll be a warmer and drier day than yesterday, although it will remain breezy along the immediate coastline. Our western valleys are starting off with overcast skies, mainly dry weather. Expect partly cloudy skies this afternoon. The clouds are going to be steady to completely clear out, but we'll manage to climb into the low to mid 60s. And most of the gorge will also climb into the 60s today uh, with just maybe an isolated shower this morning, a partly cloudy sky uh, west of the cask or on the west end of the gorge. The east end of the gorge should see a mostly sunny end of the day. Mount Hood is looking at a mostly cloudy day, a drier day though. High temperatures will in be in the upper 30s to upper 40s from Timberline to Government Camp and Ski Bowl. And central and eastern Oregon, you can expect uh, clearing skies, mostly sunny afternoon, breeze Easy conditions with highs in the 50s and 60s. Tomorrow is going to be the day to get outside. Highs will be in the mid 70s, but I think take advantage of the next couple of days because by Thursday and certainly Friday, we're going to have more rain moving in. We'll transition back to showers this weekend and into early next week, but between Thursday and Monday, highs will range between the upper 50s and low 60s, which is below normal for this time of year. Tony?